Hello and welcome to Why Wait Till Sunday. It is Friday night. This is probably the latest I have ever recorded a video, but you know, we want to get this sleeper Saturday out to you. This was a big hit last season. Um, you know, was really just tweeting single tweets about a guy, but now uh we're gonna do a little film review, I think, for these guys because they're unknown guys, you know, they're sleepers. And they're either, uh, you know, maybe G5 guys you haven't really seen too much or, you know, power five guys who are about to break out, at least according to my calculations. And so that's what we want to do and, and, and expose you to the film and, and let you see what these guys are doing on the field since they're obviously not household names. Um, and that's what we're going to do tonight. We have a true freshman breakout from out west. Uh, this was Kyle Williams for UNLV. He burst onto the scene in a COVID awkward shortened season and did nothing less but uh, achieve 30% of the team's market share. His raw stats were 35 for 426 and two. He also had two rushing attempts for six yards. So they tried to get him involved uh, in a couple of creative ways. Granted, this is only through six games. So if they had played a normal 12 team schedule, 12 game schedule, I, I should say, uh, you know, he would have flirted with, you know, maybe 70 for approaching 900 yards as a true freshman. But as it stands, that line I gave you was good for 30 percent of his team's passing yardage. Now, UNLV uh, cycled through a couple of quarterbacks. They had a transfer from TCU who was actually the highest recruit TCU had ever landed, uh, who obviously didn't really do a whole lot and ended up transferring to TCU, but they also, or sorry, transferring to UNLV. They also had uh, at least, I think, two other guys. Uh, you know, the quarterback situation was kind of a disaster. Uh, even in the games we'll watch, you'll you'll probably notice a couple of different guys taking snaps back there, but the one constant on this team was Kyle Williams. Now, the only thing I would say I wish I would have seen was some return ability or, you know, getting him on the field for punt returns. That's a, an awesome indicator of future success, especially when a freshman can get on the field as a punt returner. However, um, you know, that would have been a cherry on top of the Sunday uh, because he he kind of dominated his own wide receiver room as a as a walk on the campus true freshman, which really is what you want to see. Um, he's listed at six feet, 175. A uh, little backstory is he was listed as an athlete on 247. He played quarterback for most of his high school career and then transitioned to receiver slash cornerback. Uh, I think his last year in high school, so, you know, still learning the position, which makes it a little bit more impressive that he was able to just command targets and yards for UNLV, who, you know, by no stretch of the imagination is a powerhouse, uh, you know, they're a kind of a bottom G5 team even, but nonetheless, you know, we got to take that with, with some, um, some weight. So anyway, true freshman breakout. You always want to keep an eye on these guys. Yes, he's definitely still a sleeper. Um, you know, in C2C side, you could be excited maybe for next year uh, if they get their quarterback situation uh, in order. But I think even for the potential NFL side, you know, this is the kind of guy you want to see. If you want to start mining for G5 guys who end up being uh, a player in the NFL, this is what you want to see. This is where it starts. You know, it starts at commanding your wide receiver room as a true freshman uh, and then hopefully uh, progressing in year two and year three and then, you know, maybe making the jump after year three. Uh, and then we're really starting to roll. So we're going to get a look at this guy right after he jumped onto the scene. Uh, so keep in mind, you know, these clips are true freshmen. He's an 18 year old and he basically just converted to wide receiver within the last 24 months uh, of his uh, football career. So let's keep that in mind, but let's roll the tape for Kyle Williams of the UNLV. 
Uh, I guess they're running Rebels. Here we go. This is UNLV versus uh, Wyoming, I think, is the first game we're going to take a look at. He's routinely an outside receiver. Uh, I believe he's down here at the bottom of your screen. I've cut this thing so we can kind of get a look at routes that may not have received a target uh, on this one. You know, it's it's a guy who's within about a yard or two of Kyle Williams and, you know, looking like a bit of a press situation. Uh, he does look like he kind of can hold his own. Uh, we can't see a whole lot from there. So let's move on to the next play. Next play is kind of a negative for Williams. So what we have is a, uh, a read option where he hands off the ball. Williams is at the you know, bottom of the screen here on the cornerback. And of course, he's going to need to be blocking as this looks like a bit of an outside run. Running back takes the ball. He's cutting it outside. And Williams has basically already lost his block by the time the running back's only about two or three yards past the line of scrimmage. His man ends up getting a hand on the running back, uh, being involved in the tackle. So that's, you know, not awesome. And unfortunately, I show that play because it will be a bit of a theme with Williams. Um, kind of a, a disinterest in really any kind of blocking or frankly, any kind of effort unless he's getting the ball. I did have to cut these clips uh, you know, because the UNLV passing offense is just fairly ugly. So there wasn't a ton of targets simply because they didn't throw the ball very often. So we're going to have to try to glean some things from, uh, you know, maybe pass plays that weren't targets or whatever. So this is Kyle Williams here. He is on the outside once again, but he is off the line of scrimmage. There's no one directly on him. We can see he takes off. And does cut outside. I mean, he he gained a little bit of separation on a bit of a, a corner route, but the quarterback was nowhere near to uh, being in a position where he could get him the ball. But he achieved some separation there. You know, we're going to have to do our best to see um, plays where he didn't receive the ball. Williams is down here at the bottom of the screen. Man in motion. And Williams takes a step back. This is going to be a bubble screen. Uh, it's set up pretty well, but the ball's tipped at the line. Uh, you know, but it's a target. And they were trying to get him the ball on a, on a little short screen so he could create from there. But nothing doing. This is going to be a run play. Quarterback takes the ball and gets down the line. You know, and again, it's just... We're looking at Williams on the outside on his man. You know, he is blocking. But, you know, he just doesn't look very excited about it. He kind of releases the man uh, once he, the quarterback gets past him on the outside. And again, you know, that's, that's pretty common with him. So we've got Williams down at the bottom of the screen. He does a little comeback route. And there's just nothing going on. You know, the ball was a little bit late. We'll see from this other angle here. He, he has to come back to the ball. Uh, and once he does that, he does try to make a move. But there's two uh, Cowboys, Wyoming Cowboys on him. And there's just not much to do there. Now, this is a very nice play. This is, this is probably one of the more impressive plays we're going to see tonight from Williams. Uh, we'll see it from an, a different angle. But basically, it's a kind of a, I guess you would say, not quite a slant, maybe more of a skinny post. And um, he does get separation here. You can see right here in the screen, he's in the screen and his defender is not. So he does have probably at least a yard on the guy. And it is a beautiful one-handed grab, uh, completely secures it with one hand as he's coming across the field on this, uh, on this route. Um, let's take a look at it from the beginning here. Here he is here. And he does put a little, you know, he gets a two or three yards of separation there on the slant. I guess it really is more of a slant. Um, and, uh, you know, makes an amazing catch. That's a, that's a heck of a catch from a guy who played quarterback, you know, two years ago in high school. 
So this is a play that I'm going to show, not because he got the ball, but because he got pretty wide open. Here he is down here at the bottom of your screen. Uh, this is a, you know, it's, it's a soft zone, but he found his spot. And if he gets the ball, he's, you know, this is good for about 20, 25 yard, 30 yard reception. But instead the quarterback is just going to chuck it off to, um, nobody uh, looks like he's actually just going to run for a small gain and we'll see that too you know it's UNLV <clears throat> their quarterback situation is not great by any means uh and you know that was one play could have been a big play and and he just you know failed to find him and then ran the ball for a small gain here we go and again, you know, that was Williams at the bottom of your screen. Kind of just a very half-hearted blocking attempt. Here we have Williams at the bottom of your screen. Once again, he's routinely in that area. Quarterback is going to take the snap. And that's a nice ball. This is uh, the true freshman quarterback. So they, I think this game had... A, a true freshman, the normal starter, uh, Gilliam, and then I think another guy, the transfer from TCU, also played. So three quarterbacks within the same game, which gives you a, an idea of the volatility he had to deal with. Um, there is no corner near the line. He does get a free release, and he just runs straight up the field, finds a zone, a little out route. He's wide open. Uh, he makes a catch here. Uh, and has to turn his body around to the inside of the field a little bit. He's going to make a guy not really miss. Uh, he tries to make a move, but ends up just getting pushed out of bounds. Nothing too spectacular there. And then the next pass, the next target is in the dirt for Kyle Williams. Now we have a play here where he does make the first guy miss. And this is... You know, something that is is pretty interesting with Williams. Uh, there are a couple instances where he he will receive a ball um, and then, you know, make the first guy miss. And this is something that even in his scouting report on 247 uh, that it mentioned that he had exceptional ability after the catch, gaining extra yards. And this is certainly evident right here. So it's, again, you know, another one of these little out routes where the last time he caught it and wasn't able to do much, this time he catches it with a man in his back pocket. He spins around towards the inside after the catch, makes one guy miss, makes another guy miss, carries up field, and gains about 10 extra yards before it uh, looks like some DB comes in and uh, takes him down. But this is uh, you know a little bit of the potential here with Kyle Williams, making a catch, making a couple guys miss, and gaining extra yards. And then this is the bad. So we've got a running play here. He kind of half pushes a guy, basically is looking towards the running play, uh, you know, and not not really trying to do much, you know, just kind of like, is this play over yet? Because I want to get on to uh, receiving the ball. And here we have a running play. I don't know what that's about. And that'll do it for the game against Wyoming. Uh, you know, there was you know some good and some bad, and he's a true freshman. But you can see some flashes there uh, from a guy who's only 18 year old and and not been playing the position for very long. Now we're going to go to the San Jose State game. Again, he's going to be playing outside most of the time. Again, he's not going to want to block very much. Look at this play. I mean, this is kind of a total joke. He. He really just doesn't even try. You know, he's he's kind of like going at the guy to try to block. You know, granted, the running play is on the other side of the field, but he's he's looking inside. He's trying to see, do I need to really block this guy or not? And, you know, I just think um, this is not something I've seen with a ton of receivers. Uh, a lot of guys like to go out there and get aggressive, help their teammates. I'm a little concerned he's bored with this whole blocking situation. But here's kind of a screen to the outside. Okay, makes a guy miss. Now he's made another guy miss. Now he's breaking away. And a shoelace tackle prevents, you know, what could be a touchdown. We're going to see this replay here a little bit. But this is one of the finer plays you'll see from Kyle Williams in this uh, slide set here. So it's a bit of a screen. He's one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. 
catches it, comes inside, makes a make a move to the outside, and then it's just speed. Uh, and a couple of guys flail at him. Finally, uh, you know, the safety clips his literally clips his heel uh, and just happens to catch his other heel. I think his his feet get tangled and he falls over. But uh, you know, this was nearly a, a long touchdown down the sideline. And he just does get barely touched by the safety to go down. So he's gotten the team down to, you know, this 16 yard line, I guess it is. So we're lining up here. And we got the snap, the running back coming to the outside. And this is one of the few times I could say Kyle Williams did hold a block for a decent amount of time. This is him here engaging. But again, he, you know, he's getting pushed back and you know, he is in front of the defender, but I wouldn't say it's a super effective block. All right, here we have a crossing route. He's kind of wide open, no one on him. He tries to make a guy miss, and he does. Stumbles a little bit, regains his bounce, gets the first down. So, you know, this is another play where he makes a guy miss. It's nothing spectacular, but consistently making one guy miss really does seem to be a part of his game. He does that. He does stumble, regains balance, gets enough for the first down, and then gets tackled. You like to see that. Not everything has to be a 70-yard touchdown run. We are at the 40 going into the end zone. Quarterback dropping back. A quick play to Williams. Kind of a little curl, but, you know, tackled almost immediately. Nothing really going on there. I mean, he was right in his face. There's nothing you can do. We're on the 20-yard line now. Going into the end zone. Dropping back. Firing a ball. And Williams is wide open in the end of the end zone wide open let's get a better angle uh you can see the move he puts on the uh defender here to gain tremendous separation uh he does get a free release but he sells a bit of a um corner and then turns it into a post the defender's completely turned around this is some nice nuance here uh, i think uh, one of the nicer plays from him you know if you just watch the first moment you see he's wide open but the second angle shows how he does it so he's he's selling this to the outside the defender's completely um completely sold going to the pylon and then he turns him around and he's just waltzing i mean there's no one within five yards of him into the middle of the end zone easy touchdown for kyle williams uh and that's a nice sale on his route we come to another uh, you know, kind of turnaround curl, tackled almost immediately, not a whole lot to do there. It's coming across in motion here. Again, kind of doesn't look very interested in blocking. It was ended up being a run play. All right, we're down near their own end zone, uh, backed up to the 17, and quarterback takes a snap, looking at Williams. And makes the first guy miss yet again. So uh, loses his balance and gets tackled here. But this is a, a bit of a little in route. Uh, he does find, it looks like maybe some soft zone here. Nothing spectacular. Uh, but some good awareness where he is. Turns around. He does make the first guy uh, catch air. But then uh, quickly gets gobbled up by about four San Jose State Spartans. And we're uh, looking at a first down and moving on. Still about the 20-yard line. Rolling out, quarterback, and launches it downfield. Williams is there. And again, I think this just shows, you know, I'm, I'm not that worried about it. But, like, it does seem to be a theme. He kind of gets checked here as the ball's in the air. It's way over his head and out of bounds. So, I mean, there, there wasn't a whole lot to be done but again he kind of looks disinterested when he's not directly involved in the play he does seem to look a little disinterested it, it just shows up in a lot of different ways whether it's blocking or selling a route you know when he's not the intended target or in that case where the ball's out of bounds he just kind of goes a little limp um and uh, i don't love that but he's young and he's still learning. So, you know, we're not going to hold that too much against him, but uh, certainly something to keep in mind. All right, we've got a bubble screen here. He catches the ball about three yards behind the line. Blocking is pretty good. We've got 
uh, a guy here on the nearest corner. We've got a defender coming around from the, uh, basically from the line of scrimmage and a, a, a lineman who should be able to chip him. And what you want to see is Williams taking this between those two blockers and then upfield. We've got a free blocker here. So, you know, what you want to see is he reads this guy, makes another guy miss and goes for a big play. So let's take a look and see what happens. And he's through. And unfortunately, this guy did not maintain his block. So now Williams is looking at two guys on one. Uh, you'd really like to see this guy blocked and him be able to take it outside, something like that. But he does look a bit cornered now because the wide receiver uh, didn't hold his block. So maybe maybe Williams can appreciate how important it is to hold your block on the outside uh, after this play. And I think he's going to get you know pretty much tackled. Shows a little toughness, kind of runs through the tackle, gains an extra a few yards here. Let's see it from the other angle. So this is what he's looking at. You know, block here. We got a block here. Free lineman here. This guy's lost his block. What you want to see is this guy holds his block and Williams has to make decision on this safety, uh, which is really what, you know, I think the play is set up to do. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't hold his block. So he's going to have two defenders coming in at him, uh, which makes it a little bit more difficult. But he decides to take the shortest path to yards, which I think is smart at that point. Once the uh, you know the outside corner is able to uh, get in there, uh, and so you know I, I think it's a smart play to get get what he could. He got a couple extra yards after contact, so that's nice to see. We got a rollout here. Williams on the outside again makes the first guy miss. Now someone else is coming to get him, but his man who was in man coverage against him, did not make the tackle. And that is usually what we're seeing with Kyle Williams. So I like that little screen pass, not a whole lot going on. And I think that's going to bring us to the end of the reel. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, that's Kyle Williams. Um, for better or for worse, I did two games. Um, you know, those were some of his better games. The UNLV tape is just generally lacking. But I saw enough to be interested. You know, he, like, like we said, right, he had 30% of his team's market share. That's a ton. And even that did not yield um, some super exciting film uh, because the offense was just kind of poopy. Um, but I think there was enough there. Like I said, he, so the good things, uh, he seems to make a first guy miss. He seems to have some nuance with his route running. I mean, that nice, uh, you know, that ended up being a post, but he kind of sold a corner route uh, for a moment and then and then got wide, wide open on the post. Um, that's really all we saw, I guess, in terms of route running. A lot of it was some screens, some bubble screens. Um, we saw some great hands. Uh, we didn't see many drops. And I will say, I mean, I would have included that if I saw a drop. Um but that one-handed catch on the slant was really, really nice. So I think we've got something to build on. I hope UNLV can find a, a quarterback next year. I don't see why Williams won't be, you know, the main guy next year. Hopefully he can put on 10 pounds, get to 185, uh, maybe end up 190 plus by the end of his college career. We'll see. Absolutely a guy to keep an eye on. I mean, simply the fact that he had 30% of the team's market share is worth noting, of course, but I think there may be actually something there. He does look like he's got some moves to him. Um, he looks like he's got a good feel for the receiver position, considering especially that he's only a recent convert to being a full-time wide receiver. And um, yeah, I mean, what we saw, I think on film lines up with what the 247 brief scouting report was uh, in a couple of articles I read, which said he's dynamic with the ball in his hands and can, can make that first guy miss. And, you know, that's really what you're looking for. If you make one guy miss, but then there's three guys trailing and, and come and tackle you. I mean, you know, that's probably blocking. Someone else probably missed an assignment. But if you can make your man miss, you know, that's that's important to me. And I think that uh, he showed that fairly consistently um, in at least the film that we saw. So that's Kyle Williams, Sleeper Saturday. Uh, follow us on Twitter um, down there at the bottom of the screen. I don't know. 
Maybe it's like this bottom of the screen right here. But, you know, we're going to keep this going every Saturday. Look forward to a sleeper that we're going to uh, dive deep into with a, a brief film review and follow on Twitter, like, and subscribe this podcast so we can get bigger and really bring, you know, the college game to the mainstream. And that may sound weird, but fantasy college football and, uh, you know, campus to Canton leagues, Devi leagues, these are all fairly niche, but they're super fun. I'm into it. And, uh, you know, I want you to be into it too. So until next time, this is Alfred signing off. Have a great weekend.